Hello friends, welcome to my channel. This is Charan. In this video, I will show you in ASP.NET using drop down list control how to search records and display data into details view control. And here we got the final output and notice the select employee name, the default value is added into this drop down list control. Let's check the Chetrika details. See here we got the Chetrika details. ID is 8, name Chetrika, and email and salary. I search for Steve. We got the Steve records. Charan. We got the Charan details. If you are a first time visitor to my channel, please subscribe to get the latest updates. For this video tutorial, I'm creating a new ASP.NET project. Go to File, New Project. And from the web templates, I'm selecting ASP.NET Web Application and the .NET Framework I'm using 4.6.1. The application name is Search Drop Down List Details View. Click OK. And from the templates, I'm selecting Empty. And the project is created successfully open solution explorer now in this project i'm adding one new web form page right click the project name add new item i'm selecting web form the web form page name is drop down list search details view and And here we got the source page of the newly created DDL search db.asbx web page. Now between the form and do tags, I'm adding h1 how to filter search records with drop down list. and get data into details view horizontal line after the horizontal line i am adding two controls one is a drop down list control and the second one is a details view control open toolbox i am adding drop down list control horizontal line open toolbox and the data folder I'm adding details view after adding the drop down list and details view controls right click the mouse go to view code the first thing I'm adding the namespaces using system.data using system.data.sql client using system.configuration after adding these three namespaces, the next step I am adding my database name into this data connections. I took the data connections, add connection. I am adding SQL server name. After adding server name, I am selecting the database name. Sample DB is my user database. I have selected test connection. It succeeded. Okay. Okay. And here the sample db.dbo is added under data connections. Right click the sample db.dbo, go to properties. We need the data source, copy that one. Open solution explorer, open web.config file. Now in the configuration, I'm adding connection strings. And name is equals to my connection connection string I'm adding the data source provider name system dot data dot SQL client after adding the SQL server connection string in the web.config file switch to the code behind now in the page load event first I'm binding the data into a drop down list control string 
main con is equals to configuration manager dot connection strings now between these double quotes I am adding my connection string name my connection copy and paste here dot connection string SQL connection SQL con is equals to new SQL connection I am adding main con string SQL query is equals to here the SQL query is a select statement before writing the select statement let's check my SQL server database table and the column names the table I'm using employee table which contains four columns ID name email and salary let's copy this employee table select start from I'm pasting the table name SQL command SQL com is equals to new SQL command which takes two parameters so SQL query command text and SQL connection object let's open the connection string open method SQL data adapter SDA is equals to new SQL data adapter I'm adding SQL command object data table DT is equals to new data table SDA dot fill I'm adding the data table object in the fill method now I'm binding the drop down list control drop down list one dot data source is equals to db drop down list one dot data text field is equals to the text field the column I want to display in the drop down list is the name column name drop down list one dot data value field is equals to id drop down list one dot data bind method the last one let's close the connection string close method that's it we have just binded the that's it we have completed the code the column name from the employee table is binded into the drop down list control let's check the results google chrome and here we got the output of that code and notice the name column from the employee table is binded into this drop down list control now my next step when i select any of the particular employee name for example ben i want to display the ben details into a details view control let's finish the rest of the code stop debugging in the drop down list I'm adding a default value drop down list one dot items dot insert method takes two parameters the first one is a type index integer type which is a zero so when I add 0, I am adding the first item in the drop down list control. Comma, new list item, select employee name, comma, the second one I am leaving blank. That's it. I have just added the default label for the drop down list control select employee name. Let's switch to the source page. In the drop down list, I'm adding a property auto post back is equals to true. After adding this property, auto post back is equals to true. Switch to the design mode. Double click the drop down list control will generate the selector index changer event so instead of writing the whole code I'm copying this part copy this one I'm pasting in the drop down list selector index changer event here the select query statement I'm changing select star from DV or employee 
where name is equals to plus plus now between this plus plus I am adding I am getting the employee name from the drop down list control so drop down list one dot selected item dot text I am deleting this drop down list controls I am adding details view one dot data source is equals to dd details view one dot data bind method now before run this project the main important thing is in the page load event if not page is post back is post back I'm closing the curly braces after the SQL dot connection close method that's it we have done the complete coding part Let's check the final results on the browser, Google Chrome. And here we got the final output and notice the select employer name, the default value is added into this drop down list control. Let's check the Chetrika details. See here we got the Chetrika details, ID is 8, name Chetrika and email and salary. I search for Steve. We got the steel records. Charan, we got the Charan details. That's it.